Good afternoon and welcome to the channel, The Vaping Piper. When I uh, first started this channel, I had a certain system in place. First to upload the basics of pipe smoking and then to start going into tobacco blends and showing other pipes and slowly, slowly building up different blends, different pipes, talk about different issues in regards of pipe smoking. Well, this video has jumped the queue quite a lot. Reason being because it's time sensitive and you'll understand in a minute. So most probably you know roughly what I'm going to talk about reading the title of this video, but allow me to explain. Um, it was my birthday last week and I get a hand delivered big box. I'll show you. Just look at this. Big box with a letter and it says on it, Happy Birthday Granddad. Now my granddaughter is six sugar sweet. But I don't think she knows anything about pipes and all. Well, I turn it over to open and it says open the box first. So shall we do that? I open the box and I get a shock. Look at that. This is the Vaughan Oland the Shire Balbo pipe. Now, what is all this about? So allow me to explain. My granddaughter, my granddaughter is a massive fan of Gandalf the Grey from Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit series. Obviously, her parents do not allow her to watch the films because she might get nightmares from all the monsters and everything. But certain sections most probably she can watch or through books. They read every night uh, a section of a book in regards of The Hobbit, The Lord of the Rings. Her whole world is sort of focused on that and she's got all sorts of uh, you know, toys and, you know, everything relating to that fantasy world. One day she came home to us and we were sitting in a barbecue and I was smoking um, this pipe. Now, I'm not sure if you already watched my review on this or it's before or after. I, can't, I don't know yet where is this video going to be when this is going to be published. But this is one of my favorite um, Church Warden uh, Savinelli, Clark's favorite. I received this as well as a gift from a good friend. Um, yeah, so she saw me smoking this pipe in the garden and she says to me, Granddad, you look like Gandalf. And I said, Do I? I haven't got such a long beard. She says, But the pipe is like Gandalf's pipe. Can you do smoke rings? Anyway, uh, we were laughing away and I sort of forgot about it. She's so sweet. Every day something else comes up that we giggle about, but this was one of those. So that is what this is all about. Now, let me read you the card. So, in the card, we've got this... Um, best granddad in the world ever and he got sort of sort of yeah till it comes amazing right good great fantastic amazing and yeah i'll read you it says granddad uh, you are really are amazing you simply are the best you've got the highest marks of all of all in any granddad test happy birthday 
But there is another note. Now, let me read that to you. Dear Grandad, now you can smoke a real Bilbo Baggins pipe. Now, when I read this, there's a bit more reading that I'll tell you in a minute. Um, she said, Grandad, I want to see photos. So, let's start again, and now you'll see the photos as well. Now you can smoke a real Bilbo Baggins pipe sitting in your garden. Imagining you are in the shires, smoking long bottom leaf and blowing out smoke rings like Gandalf. Very sweet indeed. Yeah, so um, I did some searching on this pipe and let's talk about a few minutes on the pipe. And then I'll tell you, instead of long, uh, what was it called? Long bottom leaf? I've got something else in mind, but let's talk about the pipe. So let's have a look at it, shall we? So this is the box. Obviously, this is the Shires. Beautiful box. And here's the pipe. Gorgeous, gorgeous pipe. Let's take it out. And it comes with a filter. It's a nine millimeter. We'll go through the spec in a minute. But it comes with a very nice sock. And you, as well, you get pipe cleaners for this long pipe. Now I'm wondering what will I use when these are done? I have to work that out. But uh, this is what it is. Long ones, quite fluffy as well. And what else you get? And you get a, some kind of manual uh, written in Germany because this is made in Germany and in English. And uh, yeah. So is there anything here in English? We have my reading glasses. Here we are. To freeze the screen, I suppose, and zoom in. I haven't read myself yet. So, um, I was shocked. I mean, I've got quite a few pipes right now, but nothing this magnitude. Just look at this pipe. Uh, look, you can see the green. Um, this is a smooth, waxed, but look at a beautiful green here. So, um, let's talk about this. Um, an extra long pipe inspired by the Lord, Lord of the Rings, uh, as with every pipe from the Holland, the Shire line, the Bulba pipe has an original shape inspired by J.R.R. Tolkien's uh, universe. Imagine the world of the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. Its bowl, its bowl is slightly flared at the top, as you can see, uh, making it very comfortable to hold in the hand. Correct. When, when you hold it, it is sort of the rim rest on the top of your palm but the rest of the pipe is held in your palm and so comfortable and very light we'll co come soon to that making it very comfortable to hold in your hand extremely pleasant to smoke this pipe will seduce all fans of Gandalf Aragorn and Bilbo well my granddaughter for one the Shire uh, Bilbo is a stunning pipe which has been exceptionally made uh, the pipe bowl is made from briar wood and extra thick. Yeah, making the pipe more heat resistant. The waxed smooth finish is dark, but the wood grain is still visible, as we've seen. The stem is out of beech wood. And I love the way it's sort of, you know, the black to match the bowl, sort of. The darker wood blends into this beautiful, natural look beech wood. 
which has an in uh, integrated plastic tube for hygiene cleaning, finished with a mottled acrylic mouthpiece tip. Yeah. Very nice. Um, completed with a 9mm filter. Now this is made in Germany. The pipe shape is calabash. Length is 345mm. <laughs> Won't fit in the camera lens. Uh, height 54mm, chamber diameter 20mm, chamber depth 38mm, so it's got quite a depth, you can put a lot of tobacco in here. Weight, wait for this, 70 gram, feels so light. Finish smooth wax, material bowl, briar wood, stem, beech wood, acrylic mouthpiece, mottled tip, filter 9mm. So, yeah, but I'm not going to use the filter. You can use a filter. It came where well, I've got loads of filters, but you can use a filter. Um, and this is where it looks inside there. I'll focus the camera. I couldn't do a close up because it's just too long. Um, but the airflow will be severely restricted with a filter because of the length of the shank, the stem. So, yeah, without a filter, it feels very comfortable. So, instead of a long bottom leaf, I've got something else in mind. And this is very fitting. I got this from America by this um, country squire. And it's called Tom Bigby. Country squire. Tom Bigby. Now, what is Tom Bigby, if you, if you know? There is a Middle Earth series by the country squire called um, Old Toby. We have a look for it. Old Toby. Yeah. So this used to be called Old Toby. And now it's called Tom, Bil Tom Bigby. Yeah. So this is very fitting to smoke in this pipe. Both are under the theme of the Hobbit. Middle Earth, Shires, Lord of the Rings and the rest that my granddaughter is fascinated by. Um, we we're going to talk about this blend in my garden. Not today, but for you, it'll be just one second. And yeah, we'll talk about this blend. So I'm going to review this blend and tell you how it is to blow smoke smoke rings like Gandalf. Yeah. Looking very much forward just to give you a hint on this blend. Uh, we're going to talk about it in the garden, but I can't help myself because it's going to be another few days till I do that. By far one of the most popular and widely celebrated aromatic blends Tom Bigby is, is uh, comprised of Virginia, several strains of Burley that have been through the Cavendish process. Some claim that Perique is added. Find out. A sweet and creamy smoke that will have your senses traveling down a long southern road. Now, the smell is like um, snickerdoodles, someone told me. I smell it more like a chocolate brownie. A bit of cinnamon and caramelized sugar to it. Ah, oh, such a rich and sweet smell. Nearly candy. Apparently, the tasting from it is brandy, mild nuttiness, caramel, undertones of vanilla, brown sugar. Nutmeg. Oh, that maybe is the smell. An almond. Yeah. So it's a rich aromatic. But I heard quite a lot about it. I never tasted this blend for before. So there's no more fitting than to try this blend with this pipe. So hopefully it'll be nice weather in the garden on Sunday and I'll be able to um, 
give it a smoke and make my granddaughter very happy indeed. And I hope you will enjoy the second section coming up. So, see you in my garden. Hello, in my garden, smoking the pipe. <laughs> and of course, this blend. Tom Bigby by the Country Squire. And what do, you, what do I think? Oh, lovely. First of all, the blend is delicious. It's delicious. I'm going to go through the flavors for you in a minute. But the pipe smokes so well. Wow. I had to sit in a distance from the camera to put this pipe in the picture. But this blend, the, the leaf, when you light it, it's got this crackling noise uh, that I enjoy so much. It is like, uh, I don't know if you can hear it. I wonder. Let's try it. Did you hear anything? I'm not sure because the plane was overhead. But it was like a crackling noise. Nice. Now the flavors. Amazing. Oh. Oh. Sweet. Caramelized sugar like a breadiness to it, like a sweet breadiness, like a cone, ice cream cone, that when you eat it, it's like sort of crunchy, sweet um, breadiness to it. That's what I'm getting in the smoke. A bit of cinnamon. The pipe itself phew, smokes wonderful. No filter. No filter in here. And the airflow is so smooth, smooth, wow. I thought, see, I put it in this jar, uh, and on this, not this jar, in this plate, whatever it is, a saucepan, and I allowed it to dry for over an hour. Perfect. I must show you the blend. The leaf is perfect for packing a pipe, sort of. A uh, ribbon cut type of, and the smell is a bit more robust than the smoke. Oh. Sweet smell of spice, cinnamon, sugary a bit. I smell a bit like a chocolate brownie. Some say it's like snickerdoodles. I'm not sure what that means, but I never smelled uh, snickerdoodles. Spicy cake, bit of vanilla maybe, but the smell is very rich. And the smoke is sort of mild down, of course, but very nice, rich. This is one of those aromatics that a new smoker who doesn't yet detect the nuances of a blend. You give him this one and he will taste quite a few flavors here yeah it's a lovely aromatic you can't get it here in England I got it off a good friend who was in America and he said to me you need to try this aromatic old Toby uh, but now it's changed the name to Tom Tom Bigby you can see below the whole description of Tom Bigby. Why is it called Tom Bigby? Well, apparently he was traveling through Mississippi. You can see in the thumbnail Tom Bigby with his rucksack. So he was roaming the dusty back roads of the American South with a worn out backpack slung over his shoulder, a pipe tobacco clenched between his teeth and stories etched into the, into the lines on his face. 
He was uh, uh, went through cotton fields of Mississippi, pine forest of Alabama, fighting Solons in the overchanging landscape. And eventually he rested on the banks of his names namesake river, Tom Bigby. Yeah. I've done already half the bowl, minimum, more than half, lovely smoke. So he was sitting on, the, on, on his names, namesake's river, namesake river, puffing on his tobacco pipe and reflecting on the endless tale whispered by the wind and the echoes of the region's rich history. Well, I'm sitting in my garden and pretending that I'm Gandalf, sitting and somewhere in the shires with Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> Can't do smoke green, sorry. But I'm certainly enjoying the smoke. And I want to thank my son-in-law and daughter for buying this pipe, but for my granddaughter to giving them the idea of doing so. So, darling, I love it. Yeah. and I enjoy the blend no less. This is a really nice aromatic. Really nice. Not overpowering, but a perfect aromatic for when you fancy a bit of a change. And you, you want to taste something within the tobacco. This is, as I said, perfect for those who are new smokers who still haven't yet mastered the mind associate various flavors with the smoke this will taste oh i can taste something nice here let's try and interpret it what is it yeah very nice aromatic i wonder if any of you guys smoked this tom bigby or is the called old toby one more thing i forgot well you know you've, you've got such a nice pipe you want to display it right so it was something else that was added to this gift, but hasn't arrived yet. But thankfully, it has arrived now. And this is a stand. Beautiful wooden stand that will go proudly somewhere on display, either in my home or office, I'm not sure yet. Um, yeah. The perfect finale for this gift. So, I want to thank them all for buying me the most beautiful and appreciated and usable birthday present. Yeah. Lovely. If any of you smoke this blend, I would love to hear your, your feedback on this. Tom Bigby, old, old Toby. It's such a lovely aromatic. Really nice. And I think this tamper goes well with the overall look of the pipe. smokes very well. Zero tongue bite because look at the travel, it cools the smoke and the bowl is so thick. It's cool, cold, it's cool to your hand. It's not even warmed up yet. It's lovely. Now one thing I ought to mention, I did put in honey. I coated the bowl with a thin layer of honey before I lit the bowl for the first time. Did I get a bit of a honey sweetness to it? No, not really. But the blend itself is sweet enough. It doesn't need any help with uh, honey. Bit of an almond as well, like a nutty, nutmeg almond flavor to it as well. I can detect maybe a touch of vanilla here. 
breadiness, I told you already, the sugar, the sweet caramelized sugar, like, it's very nice, very nice blend and a beautiful pipe. Right, okay, I don't want this video to take too long. I'm gonna enjoy this fully. And I'm gonna smoke this on occasion with most probably this aromatic. Um, yeah, and enjoy it. My granddaughter is coming in, in later and I will smoke it with her and we'll try to master my ring making like Gandalf can. So far I haven't succeeded. I'm not sure how you do rings. <laughs> but I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Okay. Can't let it go. Really nice. I'm really happy with the pipe. Smokes really nice. Such a good, cool smoke. No need for filters. It just draws brilliant. Perfect airflow. Comfortable. It looks, certainly looks the part. And you can feel it's made of good material, briar and beetroot. It's superb. And the blend that goes with it, instead of the long bottom leaf, as the country squire Tom Bigby is doing the trick and really giving me a Middle Earth, the Shires, the Hobbits, whatever feeling when I'm smoking this pipe and the blend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Delicious. And the room note, I forgot to mention the room note. Oh, this is for the ladies. Oh, yeah, they'll love it. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Okay, so I'll carry on enjoying this. And for you guys, I'll see you in the next video, hopefully shortly. Uh, this jumped a queue, but I've got quite a few things to talk about. New blends, new pipes, whatever. But this one, I had to jump the queue. Thank you very much. All were involved to get me this pipe. Uh, my granddaughter for bringing it up, the idea, my son-in-law and daughter for buying it, and all the notes and the stand and everything. Beautiful birthday present that I'm really, really going to enjoy for years to come. Thank you all for watching. Until the next review, bye-bye for now.